Hello beautiful people, this is Vlad from Synaptic Schism and today I want to talk about key switching in Muzio, particularly in Studio One, although I assume that you can do this in other DAWs, but this is particularly for Studio One, so that we can achieve a certain result. So let me try to explain. Usually when we open up a sampler like Muzio, let me just get the window down, we get something like this, we load an instrument and the instrument is there. Then if we play it, we are going to get something like this. So in this case, this is a spiccato patch for the first violins. Now, the problem that I have with this is that it doesn't sound that good, right? And the reason are not the samples themselves, but that no one is going to play this line with just a spiccato. There's more expression to, to it in the bow, right? So if we have this line, we won't have just that. It's going to be something different, right? So then we go to something like a staccato, and the result is this. It's better, but those longer notes kind of need a tail. So then we go and we think about a marcato, and it sounds like this. The problem now is that the longer notes sound good, but the shorter ones lack attack. So what we want is something a little bit more expressive, something like this. Where shorter notes, let me show you, shorter notes have the shorter the note, the stronger the attack, and the longer the note, you have more of the tail. So you can see here in the bottle, in the <laughs> you can see here in the bottom that what I did uh, was that I added key switching to it. But Muzu doesn't have key switching, not yet. It's in the roadmap that they are going to include. So I decided to make a video just showing how I achieved this. So. Here the idea is that these notes are going to be staccato, these really short ones are going to be spiccatos, and the longer ones are going to be marcatos, okay? And it sounds like this. Okay, so how is this done? Let me just show you another instance. So this is the normal setup. When you load an instrument, it's going to go into the first channel that is available. It's important to understand what these channels are. The channels are like the MIDI input. And then it goes to the first stereo pair that is available within. Okay? This is the normal setup. Usually when, when we add something more here, so for instance, I'm going to load this one, you can see that it goes to the second channel. And because I've changed the settings of Muzu, this one is going to the same output. But by default, it would be going to the next available output, okay? Now, what I did was in this instrument, I added three instruments banks and then the first one is receiving from the mini channel one and sending to the first output the second which is so the spiccato midi channel one output one two the staccato is going to midi channel two same output and the marcato is going to midi channel three and to the same output this means that this will go to a track, to an audio track, as one instrument. However, we can feed three different MIDI inputs. And how do we do that within only one MIDI lane with sound variations? So if you go to sound variations, you can then uh, prepare each, each one of them. So you can just add new variations at will and then you don't need an input or anything like that. The only thing that you need is in the activation sequence, which usually is equal to the input by default. You need a channel change to channel one, 
the staccato I channel change to channel two, and in the marcato I channel change to channel three. This means that the spiccato is going to the first instrument within Musio, the staccato going to the second instrument, and the marcato is going to the third. Which means that if I pick these notes and I say that they are apply sound variation staccato, they are going to be sent to the second channel. We can actually see this in action. If I open the instrument, if I open the sampler in this case, you will see that different notes are going to trigger the three different instruments here. Check this out. Okay, this being said, I don't know how this is achievable in other DAWs, but as far as Studio One is concerned, this is the way to do it. So create a sound variation for that instrument. Inside the sound variation configuration, send each one of the articulations to a different MIDI channel and voila, it's working. And you can have pretty, let's say, expressive instruments within Muzu, or if you prefer to just have violins one with everything in it. I'm trying to move away from it, but the, the shorts, I actually want all of them together exactly to be able to achieve this kind of expression in it. Okay, so I hope this helped and it was a, a good tip. Check it in your DAW. Probably there's some way to do this in, within your DAW. That's how we do it in Studio One. And until the next video, bye-bye.